welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up my name is VNA Strict thank you so much for being here and usually I'm not this ranty in my videos and I don't talk about negative things going on but today is not one of those days but today I decided just to get a lot of things off my chest a lot of things that I've been thinking and a lot of ways that maybe we could make the atmosphere that we're in right now into a positive one so I also did get ready with you guys and I did this look that I'm really really loving so I really hope that you like it too and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad today's post on a vacation shout out goes to Rika May Pasia Basayo oh my god I'm so sorry girl but you thank you so so much for having your post notifications on I love you so much and I hope that you still love me even though I butchered your name thank you just for being so loyal and if you want to be my next post notification shout out all you have to do is turn them on and comment when you are done let's get into the video what's up guys we are gonna straight chill today I am ready just to get ready give you guys my thoughts I'm wearing a t-shirt my hair is crazy but you know what we keep it real on this channel. So for anyone that sees all like this Bruce, I just didn't want you guys to get the wrong idea. Um, I got a little bit of filler on my lips and I didn't want to, it's not that I didn't want to tell you guys because I have nothing to hide. I don't really care what people know that I've done, but um, I didn't want to promote it just because I do have so many young subscribers and I don't want to promote getting things done. Um, if you have any questions, uh, yes, I've done it before. This wasn't my first time. I didn't get them because I wasn't secure or because someone told me that my top lip was little. And, you know, it's just, I didn't think it was like a big deal. Did I think that I needed lip fillers? No. That I want them? Yes. But like I said, I didn't want to make a video or anything like that. There's already so many videos out there that like are educational. And like I said, I don't want to promote something to my young subscribers. So I really hope that you guys respect that. It is what it is. Let's get into the video. So today, I'm going to do a get ready with me, but let's be honest, I'm not really going anywhere. I just want to play with some makeup, and I also want to talk about what's, but what's going on. I don't want this video to be negative. I just want it to be, I don't know, I just want to tell you guys my thoughts. So I do need to do my makeup, so um, I am going to be using the Morphe There to Create palette, because I haven't used this in a while, and um, I'm not really going to be telling you guys what I'm doing, because I really want to just talk to you guys. So I'm not here to talk about specific youtubers like obviously we know the drama everyone knows that if you're part of the youtube beauty community i'm sure you kept up and i'm not here to talk about people in specific i just feel like this might have been the thing that obviously not that we needed but you know how you should always make the best out of anything that's like negative i have a feeling that this is the time when it's the time to make it positive i feel like Everyone talks about this. YouTube has been going downhill a lot. And it's not just like, oh, the views are down, the subscribers. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the community as a whole. It's just crazy how YouTube used to be so different. And it used to be like a positive, safe place. And now it's, to me, when I joined YouTube, I thought it was going to be all, you know, butterflies and flowers. But then I realized that I was joining like a high school clique that I wasn't a part of. I was entering high school and I'm just a little freshman and, and I don't know anything and there's so much going on with all the bigger YouTubers or all the seniors and obviously I'm not naive. I didn't think that, um, I didn't think that like the YouTube world was obviously just like everyone's hobby and like it da 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 da. Obviously YouTube has become people's um, jobs. So obviously they're going to start trying harder and trying different things to stay relevant. I was watching Raw Christy, Raw Beauty Christy's video and she was like, we're just YouTubers. Like, that's it. Like, you can't think so highly of yourself. You're just a YouTuber. Like, I get that there's more to YouTube and like, I do think that we're hard workers and especially bigger YouTubers obviously work a lot harder with like, probably side stuff that they have to do. But at the end of the day, we're all just YouTubers and we're all just people like on top of that the viewers and us are all the same We're all just people trying to learn about makeup and I know everyone's like oh I miss it old YouTube I miss it old YouTube, but also like I know that viewers say they miss it old YouTube But I also feel like they don't act that way. You know what I mean? Like uh, Like there's a lot of youtubers that are old school still, but do you watch their videos as much? 
Probably not because it's just not as interesting anymore. You're probably more interested. It's kind of, I feel like YouTube is kind of turned into a reality show. I truly, truly feel like it's turned into a reality show and and we as the YouTubers, we decide like what you're watching. We decide how to hook you. And I feel like bigger YouTubers are really smart. That's literally, that's advertising. They're advertising themselves and they hook you and it's negative or positive, but you're still watching, you know? And I feel like sometimes the way to get views or attention is to be petty. And I, you know, we're all petty at some point or another. And, but I feel like lately in the beauty community, it's like, it's funny to be petty or it makes you one of the cool kids to be petty. I just feel like this beauty community has turned very toxic. I feel like the way to make sales or the way to make numbers is to be controversial. And I hate that because I'm not a controversial per person and I would never want to be a controversial person just to get views or just to get people to pay attention to me but it seems like that's the way to do it and I hate that because I don't want to change my style but I also want to be successful you know what I mean like obviously this is my hobby but like I said before everyone would love to make their hobby their full-time job so for me like of course I would like to make this my full-time job and I want to try really hard to do it but I also don't want to sell myself to do it and I think that the fault is in the creators and also the viewers you know you as a viewer you honestly you control everything if you think about it like a creator is gonna do what works and what works is what has views what the market wants you guys are the market like this is literally just talking about youtube in a b business sense because for some people that is their actual jobs and they have to look at it as a business you know that's why like with all the drama happening that's why like some of those apologies that they're talking about they say that it's like a pr stunt like literally a video on youtube could be a pr stunt like youtube is a business and people that make it their business are going to treat it as one and i feel like as the subscribers as the viewers it's also your responsibility to maybe be a market for, and again, I'm not saying that this is y'all's fault, it's everyone's fault how toxic it's become, but you need to support what you believe in, not what you're shocked by or what you think is petty or controversial, like, because then that's what all of YouTube is gonna become, you know what I mean? Like right now it's fun to retweet petty things about all this drama and to say things and to comment on videos, but if you keep doing that, like that's all that it's gonna be because that's what's getting the most attention. So I don't think I have the answers, but obviously I do have opinions and I wanted to make this video not to be negative, but to maybe like, maybe you guys, you and I just try to figure out a way to make these situations better with our actions. I almost didn't want to make this video because I didn't want you guys to think that I'm feeding into it and I want to add more drama to the already dramatic beauty community. I don't want to do that, but I think that, you know, I have some things that I want to say and I think that maybe it might help you change your perspective or maybe you in the comments can help me and everybody else too. Sometimes I feel like I joined YouTube at the wrong time. And a lot of people say this in the way that's like, oh, now you can't make as much money anymore. I'm not meaning it like that. I'm just saying like, it used to be such a fun and safe place for people and now it just seemed like it's, it's just like a huge competition. The thing is that YouTube is so saturated right now. Like it really is. There are so many people and there's so many more people that are more interesting than me, more artistic than me. There's so many different, even not just like the community of beauty, there's so many different YouTubers. And at the end of the day, like I don't see it as a competition because if I have like my subscribers that support me, like why does it matter if somebody else has more subscribers than me? Obviously the only thing that that would like really affect is maybe the brand deals that they get, but making money in brand deals isn't my number one motivator to be a youtuber so yeah like it would be awesome to have more subscribers but i'm not doing this to compete i'm doing this because i love it and i'm not a makeup artist and i don't think i'm all that good but you know what you guys are still watching my channel because we're all friends here it's a friendship that we all have it's a community and 
that word community is not there anymore. Like it's not a community anymore. I do think another big problem is that some people try to spread positivity but are really just spreading negativity. Like, I mean, if we're gonna talk like specifically about the drama that's going on with all those YouTubers that kind of got in a fight, whatever, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I just wanna name names on my channel because that's not the kind of channel that I am. These people, even the ones that were in the wrong, are getting bullied right now. I, I'm not saying that I condone the, like, the way they acted, the things that they said, the tweets that they did, the videos that they made. I'm not saying that I support it because I actually don't, but I'm also not gonna bully someone online, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you don't know the true story. It doesn't matter how many drama channel videos you've watched or how many apology videos you've seen. No one knows the real truth. Like, yeah, everyone has their truth, but there's always the truth. You don't know, if you don't know these people personally, like, then you don't know. By, like, a lot of people on Twitter are, like, bashing uh, these YouTubers because they want positivity and they think that these people are negative. But if you're bashing and bullying these people online, you're also spreading negativity. You, even though you didn't do anything, you're spreading it. So how does that make you any better? You don't like a YouTuber because he bullied somebody else? You're bullying that person. Again, I'm not sticking up for them, but at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is, you need to find a balance with, you know, trying to spread a message, but also not accidentally doing exactly what you're trying to avoid. This is like such a simple quote, but I love this quote. My dad used to always tell me this. If something doesn't work, do something different. It sounds so lame and so like, what? Yeah, obviously, but it's like, is it obvious? Because I see a lot of people online complaining about things, but then they're not doing anything different. They expect other people to change the world. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to get like, but tr it's true. Like you need to be the change that you want in the world or in the community or in your home, in your life. Like that's, you need to be the change because if not you, then who? I'm trying my best right now to do my part. And I feel like maybe um, by not feeding into the drama on Twitter, I'm doing that. I'm not talking bad about anyone on any social media. I'm not bashing anyone. And I feel like maybe by making this video, I might give it some of you some perspective. So I feel like I am hopefully helping the situation and now you have to think of like what can you do you know because at the end of the day like YouTube is not the most important thing in the world but if YouTube is a really big part of your life if YouTube makes you happy like I don't watch TV I love watching just YouTube like YouTube is my outlet to express myself and it's also my outlet to relax you know and if you see YouTube the same way then we need to keep it the way we want it it's so crazy that there's literally drama channels about YouTubers on YouTube. Like YouTubers are talking about YouTubers and that's their whole YouTube channel. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I've never seen those videos. I totally have. And it's kind of like Hollywood. It's like tabloids. You, you read them and you know that they're obviously fake, but you kind of believe it, you know? Because you're like, oh, well that makes sense. Like imagine if that ever happened to you, you know? Like don't, don't do things or watch things or be involved in things that if one day that happened to you, you wouldn't like it. Try to limit yourself. Try not to believe everything you hear. By the way, Ofra sent me this sponge and it's literally, I haven't used it yet, but it's like the softest sponge that I've ever felt in my life. Oh my God, this is the bounciest, like the bounciest. I'm just gonna use some shape tape in the shade medium. Wow, this is the softest sponge that I've ever used. I really like it. I will keep you updated, but oh my god, this feels great and it's blending out everything so nicely. So, I want to challenge you guys and myself to do certain things. Um, like these are going to be super simple things, but I used to do that all the time, like in high school. One time I read on the internet and it said like, say, compliment three people in your day and see how much that changes your day. And I'm like, okay. And I literally, honestly, in high school, I would always think in the morning, I'm gonna compliment three people. Honestly, I already compliment people all the time. Like if I like something about you, I will tell you because 
I know you're gonna love it. And any like anyone, everyone likes when people when you're appreciated, you know. So I started to make sure that I at least complimented three people. And you don't know how much it made their day, that it made my day too. We need to start thinking of being nicer, like, but actually not just like, oh, well, I'm a nice person. It's like, no, like actual, like make the effort to be nice. Even though you are a nice person, which I'm sure you are, make the effort to be a little bit nicer or nicer to more people or to strangers, you know? I feel like we have to make more of an effort to be nice but being rude comes naturally. Being petty comes naturally. Being annoyed comes naturally, but to be positive and to be nice and to give compliments and to spread positivity, it seems like it takes more work for people to do that. And I don't understand why, because I truly believe in the law of attraction, like truly, like you will attract whatever you put in the world. Like whatever you put, in the world, it's what's gonna come to you. This world is made up of energy. Like everything is energy. And there's positive energy and negative energy. So if you create positive energy into your life, it will attract it. And I'm just talking like scientifically. Honestly, if you guys have seen the movie The Secret or read the book, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I highly recommend it. It's not like a spiritual book and it's not religious either. It's just kind of like a mindset that really, really helps with the way you see life. And I know these things are so obvious and you probably heard them so many times, but even though you've heard them, have you ever just listened? Have you ever actually tried to practice these things? Like truly, like consciously during your day, do you ever tell yourself, what could I do to make my day better or what could I do to make someone else's day better or what could I do with the situation that would have a positive outcome this negative situation what can I do to make it a positive outcome and that's honestly how I'm looking at what's going on with the whole YouTube drama everything's toxic like yeah this is such a negative situation and it's affecting a lot of people it's ruining a lot of people's careers it's mentally ruining a lot of people with starting drama Okay, like it is what it is, that's what it is. But what can we do to make things better? Like how could we make this something that when we look back, we can think, wow, this was the time, this was a point in time when everything changed, when everything became good again. I was just trying to, I don't know, to bring up a conversation, but instead of making it only about drama, to make it about, <laughs> look at this highlight, to make it about a solution. Yeah, anyone can talk about drama and yeah, it's fun and it's juicy, but let's also talk about like what we can do to make it better. When you start bettering yourself, you start bettering other people because the way you act, believe it or not, affects other people. Like, what are we doing here? Like, what are we doing? The sole purpose is, of life is to live a good life. And I get that maybe, um, you know, you're like, well, honestly, all this drama doesn't really affect me that much. I just find it really entertaining. Okay, well, that's you and that's awesome. But also think about other people. Like, think about how this is affecting other people's lives. Really, truly, like, I feel so sorry for some people right now. I can't imagine what it would be like to have millions of people bully them all at once. Just remember that Sometimes you might think that maybe your actions won't actually change the situation or it won't make that big of a difference, but honestly, just think of like the concept of like chain reaction. You could make someone's day and that can make them in a good mood and then they can make somebody else's day and then somebody that was having a really bad day might have needed that confidence boost and it all started because of you. We think that we can't really change things. And of course, we're not gonna change the world in one day. But honestly, if you start with yourself and if you start with your attitude and the people around you, I promise it will make a big difference even if you don't see it yourself. But I hope that you know that you are making a difference. Ofra sent me a couple of their liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Brickle, Sanibel, Las Olas, and All Harbor. Um, this is with their new packaging, and I, I mean, if you want a review of these, I can tell you right now, Ofra is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks formulas. I think they're great, they're long-lasting, and they're super comfortable. Mmm, that's pretty. Well, honestly, I know I just said so much, and I 
can't wait to edit this video joking i really don't want to but if there's anything that you should take away from this video is that think of the things that you are doing right now to make a positive impact in your life and in other people's lives and count them out and right now if you can't think of anything then start doing it. It's okay. Sometimes we get caught up with our lives and our personal problems, but start thinking of what you could do to impact your own life positively and other people's lives. If you are already doing that, if you can think of a lot of things, then double those things. There's never, there's never too much positivity ever. Trust me. So just keep that in your mind. You know, sometimes we just kind of live through life in autopilot and we forget about things that matter. And something that matters a lot is people's you know, mental health, people's minds, people's souls, their hearts, and we can change those by just being positive and spreading positivity and also help ourselves by just being a positive person. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it wasn't too ranty. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you hearing me out. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being the best subscribers that anyone could ever ask for, and I'll see you guys in my next video.